Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. We are going to work with Windows Forms and we are going to create a very simple application called Latin Translator. We have uh, three Latin words, sinister, dexter and medium, and it's uh, and their English translation. Sinister means left, dexter means right, and medium means center. We're supposed to create an application that translates the Latin words to English. On the form we should have three buttons, one for each Latin word, and when the user clicks the button, the application should display the English translation in a label control. All right, so we have our blank form. So we need three buttons. I'm going to click uh, button one, two, and three. I'll place them on the form like that. And we need a label. So here's my label. I'll click it. I'll put it somewhere in the middle here. All right, so let's name uh, our controls on our form. I'll call, I'll put the caption on it called Latin translator, like that. And I'll call it Latin translator. On our buttons, I'm going to call it BTN. Uh, Latin and the first one first was word Latin word was sinister I'll call it that and I'll put the label on it or text called sinister and the middle button I'll call that's gonna be the medium or the uh, for the Latin word so I'm just gonna call it because it's in the middle so I'm gonna call it medium uh, like that and it's going to be BTN Latin medium like that and finally the word for right is Dexter so I'm gonna put a caption on it that's the that reads Dexter and I'm also gonna call it BTN Latin Dexter and finally, our label, I'll click the label and I'll call it LBL output. In our text, I'm just going to delete it because we don't we want it empty to start with. And I didn't delete the label, it looks like it because there's no text, but when I select it, it's still there where it was before. All right, so uh, now we can create the events uh, when the buttons are clicked. So I double click the sinister button and go to my uh, form uh, uh, event handler and when we click the button we want the uh, the uh, the, la the, uh, the label display the word left because sinister or the uh, is the the translation the English translation for the word sinister is left so uh, lbl output that oops that text equals and we'll write it left and I'm going to borrow this I'm gonna copy it because now I'm going to go to the medium double click it and medium is center that's the English word for that for for medium and Dexter is right now one thing I'm going to also do I click the form and I go to my uh, uh, start position and instead of Windows default location I'll change it to center screen that way when the application starts the form will be in the middle of my screen of my monitor so let's try it let's run it here's my form it's in the middle of my monitor it's not in the middle of the video because my video resolution is smaller than my monitor uh, so but it is actually in the middle of my monitor so let's do click it sinister it says left medium it's a center dexter it says right and that's basically it but we can uh, do a little advance advancement to the application or a little improvement when we have a 
the word right, how about we display the label to the right? When we have left, we display to the left, and medium, which is center, will display it in the center. So let's let's do that. So I'll click the first button that is to the left, and to move it or position it uh, on the form, we can position it from the top or from the left. So uh, our label output, I'm going to position it to the left uh, because we are moving on the x uh, uh, axis, basically it's left to right or right to left. Uh, so I'm going to do lbl output dot left. That's my property, and um, I'm going to move it. Let's say 50. So when I run it and I click sinister, you can see that the left is now closer to the edge. It's uh, 50 pixels or whatever the measurements are from the from the left edge of the form. But when I click medium, it still stays there. The position of the label itself didn't change the same when I click right. So uh, I'm going to do the same for the right. I go to the right and do the uh, left and I'm going to move it left 240 pixels from the left. So that will be more towards the right edge. So again, let's test it. If I click sinister, which is left, it moves it to the left. When I click dexter, it moves it to the right. But medium still is not set. It will simply display whatever the label currently is. Now medium is in the center. I can again do from uh, some calculation from the left. But there is a way to actually center it exactly on the form. And to do that, I'm going to do the LBL output that uh, oops, we will put that left and I'm going to position it if you look at the form obviously the form has its width so if I divide the width by 2 I'll get the middle of the form so I can do uh, to do that the form itself has a keyword called this which uh, refers to the to the form itself period or dot and then there's a size of it uh, what's the what's the size of the form there's a property called client size and when I hover over it you can see that uh, it says gets or sets the size of the client area of the form so that's our size I put another period there another dot I get these properties I get height and I get width again we are moving left to right so we need the width so when I divided that by 2 I should get it to the middle of the form so again left and right and medium is more to the center but you can see that it's not exactly centered uh, obviously it's a little more to the left uh, further from the left than it's from the right and that's because we didn't take into account the width of the label itself so the formula itself is the client size the form size and we have to div uh, deduct the width of our label and that the result of this calculation we will divide by two that will give us the or position it exactly in the middle of the form. So let's try that. I'll go sinister, which is left, dexter right, and medium is exactly in the center. And you can see how it moves. All right, so this is the exercise. Again, fairly simple. We play with the positioning as well. Just a little enhancement, I guess. So um, I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.